everyone welcome to my channel today i'm tara with pieces of tara artistry thank you for joining me excuse me i have a frog in my throat <clears> throat> So today I'm going to be doing a pearl pour that is the consistency of your base paint uh, that does have the satin enamel in it. Uh, the recipe I just flashed on the screen as well as it's in the description box. And this is my pour over color. Uh, it's kind of a creamy color and this is the recipe that I use. Um, just always remember that the uh, pour over colors have no satin enamel in them. Otherwise you won't get any pearls. So on this one, I um, I went ahead and I'm going to be doing the pearls in the middle section and in the Dutch pour on the two corners. And this, this was the first time I did it this way, and I would do things a little differently the next time, but I really like how this one turned out. Uh, I didn't put quite enough of that base paint down to get to the corners it was that cream was starting to roll over and I didn't want that to happen because I wanted to have pearls all the way from end to end so I added in just a little bit more so this piece uh, along with the rest of the pieces that you're gonna see um, this evening from the other uh, FAE instructors they are all going to be raffled off at the gala uh, dinner at the food art experience so I believe that's on Friday night the I believe it's the 22nd um, and uh, you can get tickets for that on the food art experience um, uh, you do need to be at the gala to win the raffle or win the painting so all of us artists are going to be raffling off um, one of our paintings so uh, this is the one I will be uh, donating to that um, I decided to try something a little different on this one. I sometimes when I do these pearl pours with a Dutch pour over top, the the pearls start popping through in areas I don't really want them to. So I've been kind of experimenting around with with not um, having the pearl using the pearl base on the entire area. And where I want a Dutch pour, I've been kind of not adding in that satin base paint to it and just using my Dutch pour colors. So um, this one, it turned out pretty cool. I would do it a little bit differently next time. And one thing that I, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do this, but one thing that I have been trying to do lately is I've been trying to wait like a good 45 minutes uh, to do the Dutch pour portion because it gives the pearl section a little bit of time to settle and you'll see in this one it as I keep adding my paints because I did add a lot of paint uh, let's be real here um, as I am adding these paints it is squishing in those pearl uh, this pearls so you'll see that start happening and that's where I think I went wrong on this one. I mean, it still turned out really, really pretty and really cool, but I think on the next one, I would wait um, a good, probably half hour before I did the Dutch pour portion. I did not wait that long on this one. Uh, I was kind of under the wire. I had done another painting for this giveaway, but I just really, it wasn't my favorite. You guys will see the video eventually, but I, decided that I would give it another go and so I started this actually yesterday on Monday and I was kind of under the gun so uh, and I wanted it to be able to dry mostly by today I knew it wouldn't be totally dry in the Dutch pour area um, I, the the pearl pour area was dry really fast and that always dries really fast and had a done the Dutch pour over top of the pearls it would have dri dried a lot faster than it did but Anyways, live and learn, guys. Um, but this still turned out really, really cool. I used the colors that I've kind of been playing with lately. I still have a big commission that I'm going to be doing with these colors, um, and so I just was kind of playing with how they, how they work together. I really do love the combo of these, and that sky blue light over top is just so pretty. It pops so nice with the rest of those colors so anyway i um 
I do come in at the very end and I show you the uh, wet results and the dry results, uh, or mostly dry. Um, they still are just a tad wet when I took the photo, um, but you guys get the picture. At least it was hanging on a wall, <laughs> not dripping down it. So, okay guys, well, I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of this. Um, really hope to see you guys in Dallas. Uh, that's just three weeks away. I'm getting really excited for it and um, classes are, they're filling up pretty fast. So uh, I'm, I've got some slots open left in my classes, but um, not a lot. So if you're interested, go on in and uh, to, to thefoodartexperience.com and sign up and um that's pretty much it guys so i'm gonna let you watch uh, if you like what you're seeing please like share subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified each time i i put out a new video and really appreciate you all being here uh leave me a comment let me know what you think i always read and respond to all my comments so all right well you guys have a great night and after me is garrick brown um, then it is massey art studios then i believe it is marcy from uh, mixed media girl then uh, Kathleen Osmore cause creations and then uh, the caboose today is Sarah Taylor so all right guys have a good one and I will see you on the next one Thank you.